Hello, Lafayette third graders. This is Ms. Zablotny, your IB coordinator. Today, we're going to talk about soil problems, what causes them, and the effects they have. Let's get started. First of all, soil is very important to us. It's an important recess for us because it provides nutrients for plants and animals, and it also provides habitats for plants and animals. Threats to soil. There are several factors that can threaten our soil. First, there's erosion. That's when soil is carried away by wind or water. Second is contamination. That's when soil is poisoned by chemicals. What causes these soil problems and what are the effects? Let's look at the first problem, erosion. There are several causes for erosion. First, erosion is caused by water and wind moving soil and rock to another location. Heavy rains, wind, and even ice can cause erosion. Erosion wears away fields, hills, and even mountains. What are the effects? Erosion destroys habitats for plants and animals and people. Plants can't grow, so animals have nothing to eat and nowhere to live. There are also human causes of erosion. There are several ways that humans can cause erosion. One way is deforestation. That means cutting down trees. Another um, way humans cause erosion is by watering lawns and gardens. And gardens, let me fix that. So when you water your lawns and gardens, the water carries soil away. A third way is agriculture. When you plow land to plant crops, that also causes erosion. What are the effects? When humans disturb the soil by cutting down trees or plowing land for crops, the soil is blown or washed away, make it, making it hard for plants to grow. What can we do to stop erosion? First, we can plant ground covers. Planting a ground cover like trees or grass, their roots keep the soil in place. Second is mulch. Mulch is shredded wood or leaves. When you put mulch over the soil, it allows water to get to the soil more slowly and it doesn't wash away as quickly. A third thing you can do is terraces. Terraces are level places that are made for planting on hillsides. So you can see how this hillside has been made into terraces. Another way to stop erosion is windbreaks. Windbreaks are lines of trees or shrubs that block the wind. Planting windbreaks helps keep the wind from blowing the soil. Problem two, contamination. Here are some causes of contamination. First, chemical pesticides used to kill insects on crops or fertilizers used to grow plants can cause contamination of the soil. Another cause is leakage from sewage systems can leak and seep into the soil. And then a third cause is rainwater or floods from other polluted lands can cause pollution to the soil. Effects. These pollutants can enter our bodies through the food that grows in contaminated soil. Another effect is soil degradation. That means that the soil loses the ability to grow plants because it doesn't have any good nutrients in it. How can we stop soil contamination? First, you can plant trees. This stops erosion and protects the soil from contaminants. Next, you can use organic fertilizers. Use natural pesticides and fertilizers that don't harm the soil. Third, recycling can help. Recycling and using materials means there's less land pollution. Fourth, safe chemical storage. Store liquid chemicals in spill-proof containers. Fifth, eating organic foods. Eat organic foods that are grown without pesticides. 
all of these things will help save our soil.